Robert is on location in Würzburg, Germany with lighting designer Zenia Kostira from Ukraine. First question as always. How do you know this location? I know this location since I came here in Germany. It's a Würzburg city. It's Franconia actually. And this is, I think, the most uh, known location in this area and maybe all over the Germany. Germany. Um, it's a uh, Marienberg fortress. It's, uh, it's settled on, uh, on 8th century and uh, it's just, a, just like a postcard. So we're gonna, before we talk about how you, how you, you got here actually, um, we're actually gonna look back and, and talk about the, uh, your early career and how you got started in lighting. Mm -hmm. You know, what, what, uh, what made you think about taking it as a career? I started uh, back in 2008. I think I was a student and I was really patient by the music and I played with my band. I didn't... Oh, you had a band? Yeah, I had a band. I was a musician, not a professional, but, but, but very, um, you know... Um, Into music. Yeah, correct. I didn't pay attention to light, you know, I, don't, I didn't know what is that actually. Uh, someday my friend invited me to join um, one really nice massive dance party and it, it was like party every weekend. Yeah. And then I came there and realized what a beautiful place, I mean it's not about the music and something like this. It was the lighting designer or maybe operator, I don't know who was there, was doing such a great job. And I started to feel the mood with the lighting. I felt it on myself and I said, oh, it's, it's interesting. Then what happened? Did you start working with a rental company? The first steps I did, uh, it was really uh, small projects, small events. Uh, I started to use my console to realize how the light works, actually. Um, no, it's not so special, but it was a smooth way to involve me in the, into this um, industry. Now, then I started to work for the biggest Ukrainian company, A-Light. So I was an employee and uh, on daily base, um, we did a lot of projects and still do and I believe we will. Sure, I mean, Alight are one of the biggest rental companies in Ukraine, aren't they? Yes, yeah. yeah, the biggest one, and it's not only the rental, it's also a production team. Right. So we, we uh, did all the projects, so we invite the people to help us, but we actually had the really entire uh, team who can uh, do the, 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 the full show. Was there a first or a significant show as a, a, a lighting designer that kind of really set you on your way career-wise or that you gave, really gave you lots of confidence? I believe it was uh, Voice Kids uh, 2015, I guess. It was my first big-scale project for TV. I did some TV shows before, but it was a training, actually. Yes. Um, so I started to work on this project um, with, the, with also really young team. We grew up together in the, on this project, start to learn how the camera works, how the lighting um, as a coloring uh, works. I tried to, to create the compositions, so it, it was it was very um, stressful actually. <laughs> <laughs> Earlier this year, you work with Tim Routledge and his front of house programming team on the 2023 Eurovision Song Contest in Liverpool, UK, um, which must have also been an incredible experience. Um, oh, yes. How did you find? How did Tim and you meet? How did he find you? I think it was in autumn. Uh, he sent me a request on Instagram. I said, oh, really? I mean, uh, of course I. I knew Tim uh, for ages, he's famous lighting designer, incredible man, but I didn't know him personally. So he sent me a request to, to join 
um, to be in a friend. Of course, I accepted it. A few weeks later, he, he sent me a message. Hey man, I'm trying to get a, um, trying to get an ESC team. Uh, would you like to join us? I said, are you kidding me, man? Of course, it was a dream for all my entire career. Um, so, yeah, I said yes, and it was happening. Fantastic. What was the scope of your work on Eurovision? My role was associate lighting designer, and uh, I was in charge on. Uh, I was in charge for uh, overnight shifts. So I had a team with two lighting operators, Alex Bosmore and uh, Adam Marshall. Great guys. You should know them. Actually, they did all the job. I just tried. I tried to help them to interpret the notes from the delegation. So the, after each rehearsal, we had a bunch of notes uh, with changes. Uh, they were on our tables and we are uh, trying to solve that. Sure. What would you say you enjoyed the most about working on that event? The team. The team was brilliant. Uh, I think the, 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 the biggest um, Takeaway is uh, the people, they are just amazing. Uh, everybody is so professional, they know what to do. Uh, the atmosphere was so calm and so relaxed, I guess. <laughs> um, that's, how I, that's how I felt. And you must have been proud as a Ukrainian as well um, to be there. Yes, yes, of course. It's, it's, it's a the big honor and, and I was so proud and I'm still so proud to be Ukrainian. I wasn't alone on the project. Uh, I think uh, almost all departments had at least one Ukrainian on site. I didn't know them all, but yeah. I was just glad to know that they are there with me. Uh, the most populated department were, was operators, camera operators department. All my friends from Ukraine came. Uh, we worked together. Um, spoke much with each other. That must have been brilliant. Oh yes. Yeah. I, I, I felt uh, a big uh, support. Sure. Are there a couple of highlights or memorable moments from your career that you could share with us? One of these is already stuck in my head and it's for years. It's Independence Day of Ukraine. Uh, it's an outstanding project. 2021, right? Yes, correct. It was the 30th anniversary of Ukraine. It's very important, uh, important date for for the for, for, for my country. I did the, this project with my close friend, show director Katya Tsari. She's incredible show director. We did it together with with a big love to our country and to this project. Um, there was something special, I think, because first of all, it was a challenge for us the biggest stage in Ukraine. Uh, Where was it actually? Where was it staged? Outdoors somewhere? Yeah, it was in a stadium, Olympia Stadium in Kiev. Great place. Um, so that the stage was really, really big. And uh, the duration of the show was about three hours, non-stop, pre-recorded with the time code, without breaks, without interruptions. A really long show. Uh, yeah, we spend a lot of time to, to be prepared. Uh, I believe it's a really, really great show. Sure, no, absolutely. Three hours, that's a lot of lighting cues. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you were thankful for the time codes. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. So, I'm glad to, to know that, uh, to, to, to have this possibility. What do you most love about your work? The most I love in my work, I can be uh, a painter, I can be a musician, I can be a creator, I can be an engineer just in one person because this, uh, this job is covers so many roles and it's so interesting and yeah it's very um, difficult but still very interesting. I can play my music with the lights. You got a message for your friends back in Ukraine who are watching this video? Yes, of course. Um, my dear friends, um, I love you so much and uh, I want to say that the light will 
win against darkness and uh, we will have so much opportunities in the future uh, because we are so strong, we are so creative. Everybody knows that Ukraine is such an outstanding country, brave and, and very, very creative. So I believe the great times will come. So just, just be in touch with each other, care for each other. Excellent. Yeah. And is there anything else you'd like to say? Slava Ukraine! Hello, I'm Slava. Yeah, good.